This little blue pedal on my desk saved me thousands of dollars. And let me tell you how. This is an MXR Sugar Drive. It's just an overdrive pedal. It's got three knobs. It's a mini pedal, whatever, right? Ah, not so fast. What it aims to do is emulate one of the most highly sought after, most expensive pedals that has ever existed in the guitar universe. And that's the Klon Centaur. If you know anything about that pedal, you know that not very many of the original ones were made. When they were being made, they were shrouded in secrecy because if you opened up the back of the pedal, the circuit board was covered in a goo that didn't allow you to see what was going on. So between that, the limited number, who was playing them, who still plays them today, uh, John Mayer, we end up with pedals that can go for six, seven, eight thousand dollars and are they worth it uh I, probably in some cases because they sound amazing but sometimes though you need something like the mxr sugar drive to shock you back to reality Die! if you want to know what it sounds like compared to a real clon there are tons of videos out there that do that i obviously don't have a real clon to compare it to so we're not comparing anything today but spoiler alert in all of those videos it is almost impossible to tell clones like this apart from the original amazing pedal. So do with that what you will. Without further ado, let's hear what this thing sounds like and why I'm so excited about it. So here's my clean tone. <laughs> If we kick on the clone, the sugar drive. So one of the things that makes this pedal so special is the drive knob. There's only three knobs on this thing. It's a volume, tone, drive configuration. But when you turn up the drive, not only are you overdriving or adding more overdrive to your tone, but you are also bringing in more of the original clean signal on your guitar. Think of it kind of like a mix knob almost. Now, one thing to remember with all overdrive pedals, what they're doing is they're really trying to emulate an overdriven amplifier. So this does that in many, many ways. It's, you know, on an overdriven amplifier, when you really dig in, <laughs> you can hear that overdrive. But if you just pull back, everything cleans up. And that's, to me, the sign of something that is really doing a good job of emulating that tube overdrive thing, is that when you soften your touch, it cleans right up. And then if you dig in, you get that overdrive. I'm not changing any settings. It's just how hard I'm playing and how much I'm digging into the notes. That is why these are so cool. We all use these adjectives and things like transparent and it sings and it's warm and it's yeah, whatever. It just sounds good. It sounds good. I like it. It sounds good. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. So let's play that same line. Now we're, we're at about noon on the drive right now. Let's go all the way up and see what it sounds like. <laughs> So, I mean, it's definitely dirtier, it's definitely more overdriven, but it still remains fairly transparent, fairly clear. There's a lot of clean still happening in this tone. I mean, now if I play a chord. I mean, you can, it's it's definitely overdriven, but I, I just, you can hear every note in the chord. It's, that's what's so amazing about these types of pedals to me and how they differ from something like a tube screamer or a fuzz pedal is you just retain all of this information that's coming out of your guitar and it's awesome. It allows you to be articulate, it responds 
to your playing. I mean, I just, all the things that you love about a piece of gear when you put it between yourself and an amplifier. I mean, it just embodies all those things. So like I said, these pedals do this in a few different ways. One is that drive knob and the fact that you are retaining a lot of that clean signal even though you're overdriving another part of that same signal. The other thing that the Klon did and the Sugar Drive also does, as well as many other clones, is that it actually takes the nine volts that are coming into the pedal and it has a voltage doubler so now we're into the 18 volt range and what that does is it gives you more clean headroom and it makes a difference on these pedals i mean it just it sounds just clean even though it's dirty it sounds clean does that make sense so one last thing that mxr has done and super cool is that if you notice on the side of the pedal right here there's another led and you can't see it on this angle but i'll show you something closer it actually says buffer now you see True bypass is always something that pedal companies are bragging about and talking about. And that's where, you know, your signal when the pedal's off is going right through. It's untouched, right? In this case, it's buffered, but it can also be true bypass. And the reason why they gave you this option is that the original Klon was buffered. And that means that when the pedal was off, the signal is still being routed through parts of the pedal. And that has an effect on your sound um sometimes you want it to be buffered sometimes you don't want it to be buffered and you want it to be true bypass there are pros and cons to both of those things but because the sugar drive is trying to give you a true clon experience uh they gave you this option now the clon didn't have this option but you know being more modern they want to say well hey if you want to run it in buffer mode then you can but if you want to run it in true bypass all you got to do is flip the switch and now you have a true bypass pedal. So super cool, super versatile. I like the fact that they put that on there. I mean, it just it's just fun. It makes you want to play. I think it makes you play better. It's inspiring and it's not that expensive. It's only like $120 US. Now, when you compare that to the hundreds for some clones, thousands for some later model clones, and thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars that you could spend on the original, uh, I don't know. I have to say that I don't think it's an overstatement to say that playing this and loving it as much as I do love it has actually saved me thousands of dollars because even if I won the lottery tomorrow, I'm probably not gonna go buy a clone because you know what? This does just fine for my ability level and my application. So it's another piece of gear I love. I'm so happy that I get the chance to talk about it. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing. And if you're not done hanging out on your smartphone or watching YouTube on your computer or smart TV, I would strongly suggest you continue on my channel check out these videos right over here.